No, no. Oh, bro. Oh, I... bro. I suck at this game, man. So you lost again, huh? <laughs> who, who said that? Over here. Where, where are you? I, I don't see you. Look right next to you. You? I told you you couldn't win this game without me. You know you need me. So why not use me? Yeah, bro. I, I'm... Listen, you have talked to me over and over again. I'm not gonna use you. Come on. Everyone on top has used me. So why not? You wanna be the best, right? Why would I wanna spend $500 on a freaking pixel gun? It, it doesn't make any sense. Because, Armando, having an unlimited mini gun and an armor that takes 50,000 hits to break is a very good trade off, as you ask me. You wanna be like champion, right? Use me. So, so what? I, I don't care about that. I mean, I'm, I'm having fun making videos. He has more subscribers than you, dumbass. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, how's it going, everybody? My name is Armando, and welcome back. To another Death Frontier video, everybody. Uh, first of all, let me just apologize for that cringy intro. I couldn't think of another way to kind of open up this video other than that. I just don't want it to be another 10 hour tutorial video of me trying to give you guys advice of why you should do it, why you shouldn't, and well, I just thought this was a great way to break the ice. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys liked the little intro. If you do, leave a like in the video below and leave a nice comment in the comment section below. But anyway, let's talk about these two items that everybody is always talking about. The Ventus Guard and the Wraith Cannon. All right, as you all know, I have a Wraith Cannon, and I, and I always say why is because I got it through a clan called Fear of the Perfect Dark, namely the Wolf Gaming and Maiden Joke. Those two are the reason why I have this weapon. I never bought anything as expensive as a $500 item because that just seems absurd. But if it wasn't for them, I would not have this weapon. And honestly, I would never have known the fun of actually owning a Wraith Cannon. But first of all, let's start off with the Avengers Guard. As you all know, I do not have a Avengers Guard and I will not spend $500 to get a Avengers Guard, okay? And who better than to explain this and that exposure the man itself no guys unfortunately he won't be in this video it's just i want to take a video from his channel and let him do the explaining because honestly he did a very great job on it than i'll ever do it because you know this guy actually took his time and made an 11 minute video on it so without further ado let's get right into it all right all right all right so we're going to be cranking out a video here today. It's been a while, but that's because there haven't been any updates, right? What's the deal with that shit? I don't really care. I've just been informed recently by a clan member of mine, also the leader of SS, Emma, that there has been a... There's been a little bit of a hiccup here, right? We have the Vengeance Guard, okay? It just got released. Now, I don't think most people expected to be 10k credits i think that this game is going to collapse on itself with this crazy ass money strange going on here excuse me i'm getting a little bit angry that being said we're going to talk about the vengeance guard today so just bear with me now if you don't know what you're listening to because i haven't been around you're listening to dead exposure df Welcome to my channel. Now, as you can see up there, that's the picture of the Vengeance Guard. It doesn't really have much of an animation in-game. Uh, you know, it figures you'd pay 10k credits, which, I mean, that's a lot of money in real life for something that really doesn't look like anything. Luckily, I already had 10k credits from selling my GAU-19, uh, you know, building up a few credits over time. Um, but I'm broke as shit now, once again. Uh, I don't expect that to be going away anytime soon, so this may be my last review video for a while, unless one of you guys takes pity on me and gives me a gun. <laughs> As a regular player, you will be encountering elite players in the arena with this kind of armor, like myself, because I am a slave, and I definitely bought this armor. I admit it. I've been playing this game for too long. <laughs> I need to be the best. You will need this without a doubt in TPK, in TS. If you want to compete in anything, this is a statement. This is a shift in the game, man. Um, just the fact that it's non-transferable is, you know, a, I really don't know what to say with that. You, you have to, you can't trade it. You know, a clan can't go up 
uh, pitch in a whole bunch of money and buy this armor so they can exchange it for people in their clan to win TPK, all right? I I'm going to go ahead and check the boss chat really quick and see if I can actually get a demonstration just then going by word of mouth since this is a review video. It kind of makes sense, right? Um, so let me do that really quick. If I don't find anything, I'll be right back. Oh, shit. Okay, so that was one hit. All right, I forgot I'm trying to get hit here. Two hits. Three hits. For 10k credits, this better be some damn good armor. Four hits. Five hits. Six hits. Seven hits. All right, seven hits from a flaming giant spider. I'm going to get out of here before I get wrecked. One, two, three, four, five. Count with me. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, okay, all right there, honey. Fourteen hits? I just feel like it could be better. I really do. No, I'm not even joking. It should be better than just that. Like, maybe twenty hits, you know? Like, I could then justify spending, like, the 10k credits that I just spent on this. <laughs> really, dude? <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, we gotta redo this. We gotta redo it. No, screw it. It's done. We gotta redo it. I, uh, thanks for that review, that exposure. It was quite, uh, interesting. But anyway, guys, on to the next, uh, Wraith Cannon, alright? <laughs> I mean, what is there for me to tell you guys? It's 10k credits, it does, you know, this much damage I put on the screen right now, and overall, it's unlimited. Unlimited Wraith Cannon, I mean... It also has knockback. It does 24 damage with uh, damage boost that I have on right now. I don't know how much it does without it, but I'm pretty sure it's not too far off. But what separates it from the rest is that it's unlimited. And it's a minigun. And it has knockback. So not only can you grind for hours on end without really having to go back to the outpost and, you know, buy more bullets, but you'll save a crap ton of money okay you just will never have to spend another dime in this game ever again that's why I've been having so many giveaway guys I just don't see the reason for me having so much money yes I could probably you know just buy different weapons but there's really no point in it I mean once you spend money on this minigun there's no going back you can go to the freaking wasteland and just really just go on and just destroy everything as you can tell alright so let's give it a test okay so I'm just gonna stand in this one spot okay this one spot only look at this I don't, I don't even have to move, it's just, if they can get to me, they, they, they will, but it's like playing red light, green light. <laughs> and I do agree with something that Exposure said in that video a long time ago. Ever since these weapons came out, they became Game Breaker, okay? If you want to go TPKing, you need this weapon, alright? You don't have to get the Unlimited one, but overall, if you don't have the Unlimited one, you're going to be spending a lot more money in the TPK run, and as well as TS runs, and the person who has the Unlimited weapon will have a huge advantage over you. He or she will never have to go buy Born Brawlets while you're over there suffering because you're on your last pack and you pretty much spend already like a mil on ammo for, you know, the Wraith Cannon. So, is it worth spending $500 on the minigun? That's completely up to you. If you feel like you just want to play this game and just mess around and not really give a damn about skill or whatever, then yeah, but buy the Wraith Cannon. I mean, that's why in my loot runs, I have to make it as entertaining as possible because who wants to see a guy just shoot for hours on end? And they're, 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 they're not, no one! So yeah, guys, overall, the minigun, there's not much to review about it. It's overpowered, it has unlimited ammo on it, and overall, if you can play right, you know, you won't really need the armor like the Vengeance Guard, okay? But yeah, let's go test this out on a boss real quick, guys. Well, you know, I... I because this is honestly just too easy. I mean, they want to get near me, but there's just nothing going on right now. So yeah, let's me, let me go find a boss real quick, okay? All right, so here we go. Let's see how long they last. Ready? Go! Ah, they didn't take that long now, did it? I mean, granted, these guys do have a lot of health, 
but I mean, I didn't get hurt. No one really got near me, and as you can tell, at the last second, I just was playing around with these guys. It's <laughs> just nothing they could have done to get near me. Mastercraft and Budax. All right, what else do we have here? An MA two A two. Nothing crazy, but hey, some money here and there. And last but not least, we have an FM Trail. Too bad they're useless now. I mean, worthless. I mean, not useless, but you know what I mean. And last but not least, and Blue Extremer. Oh, an XT. Nice. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I think that's enough of me showing off the Wraith Cannon. I guess you can say that this thing has no equal, right, when it comes to other weapons. I mean, granted, we do have things like this gun coming out every season. I'm pretty sure the limited edition, they're not going to come out again. Maybe I mean, it might be nice and bring them back next year. But, you know, when it comes to this weapon, I, I don't think it's going to bring out something called the Mega Wraith Cannon. Because, you know, it just it just shreds. Like, <laughs> look at this. Just, just, just yeah, look, look, it just it just doesn't let nobody near me. It's like you shall not pass. You want to get near me? You gotta you gotta get, you gotta spit on me or something like that. But yeah, overall it's just <laughs> it just melts, guys. But yeah, I think that's enough about the review on the race cannon. Let's just go back and see both cons and pros for these things. Let's do it. So in conclusion, all right, guys, when it comes to both of these items, Avengers Guard and race cannon. It really, really depends on your playstyle, guys. If you are aggressive, you don't care about aggro, you don't care about just destroying everything in your path, and you want something to just really, really just make the game <laughs> 10 times easier, go for the Wraith Cannon. If you feel like you're pretty much a looter, uh, you don't really care for strong weapons, and you feel like you don't really need a powerful weapon to have fun in this game, then go for the Vengeance Guard. I mean, granted, they're both 10k credits. So, uh... <laughs> Upon further inspection, guys, because a uh, friend kind of pointed this out, I found out that this gun, Unlimited Wraith Cannon, is 20,000 credits! That's a thousand dollars in real life? Nah. That is a lot of effing money. And if you believe you're going to be playing this game for a long time, go for it, alright? I honestly would just buy the Wraith Cannon, because, again, nothing can touch you. Nothing can get even near you. Granted, you do have, you know, bosses like the Flaming Black oh, yeah. Titan, the Devil Hound, which can pretty much one-shot you if you don't have a powerful armor, all right? So that is where the Vengeance Guard comes in, all right? If you believe you have the skills to pay the bills and you can pretty much dodge everything in your way, then, yo, to be honest, Vengeance Guard would just be your to go, you know? So I would never really fight a Devil Hound or a Flaming Black Titan because I'm really, really rusty. So if I had a Vengeance Guard, I probably would have given it a shot. But... Yeah, like I said, it's all up to you guys. Um, obviously, those who are running for t top survivor and top player killer need both items because nowadays the top people on the top ranks have both these items on top of implants and, you know, damage boosts. It's, it's just it's a must, okay? If you want to be the best, you need these items, unfortunately. Especially if you're going to go grind in the, in the wasteland, you know? There you do need Avengers Guard and a Wraith Cannon because remember, the person on top has those items and if they have unlimited wraith cannon that means they'll never need to reload maybe eat something here and there in their inventory but so what but if you can take more hits and you can deliver more damage then more than not you're not gonna die all right just go right now and see who's on top on the ts or tpk roster just let me know but yeah guys this is it this is all i have for the review let me know what you guys think in the comment section below was this the game breaker that you know just pretty much destroyed that frontier or do you believe that admin has something else cooked up for us that might level up level out between the non-gold members and the gold members or just the pay to win members what do you guys think leave a like in the video below start a discussion if you want and subscribe but yeah this is armando signing off I'll see you guys in the next one take it easy